Yeah, they had the hemp over there. Oh, 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 yeah. Really? Appreciate that. Here we go again. Just straight up and down. That's when you got it. Thank you. Holly, one more time. Thank you. Celebrating women across media is so important and like you said it's not it's not probably the most well known but within the media we know like we understand what this award means and so I'm just proud to be able to host to rub elbows with some of these great women in the room I have several girl crushes I'm going to consummate tonight <laughs> I'm very excited about being around all of this fabulous female energy. Um, we lift each other and we need each other now more than ever. So uh, this is a great organization and it's just an awesome room. I really would have to say that streaming has had an enormous impact on viability of women, writers, directors, actors. I know certainly for my career, I mean if you look on streaming services and you look at the type of shows that are on all the time and are very successful, all these actresses of a certain age who had more and more difficulty in films and more and more competition for fewer and fewer roles, suddenly we're everywhere. And what streaming has proven is that the audience has been there all along. It's just having the willingness to put those stories out there and to show that these interesting older women, you know, we're fun, we're interesting, we're complicated, we're hot. <laughs> I, I would say like as far as changes, there's so much more diversity now in every way. Like I think if myself from 1998 could see forward into the future and see that I'm like comfortably in my body, I'm not super thin, I'm 45 years old and I'm being honoured at an awards show and doing work that is some of the most interesting and vital like sexy character stuff I've ever done I think I would just be like wait that's possible you don't have to be perfect looking you don't have to be young like I would have been amazed because it did feel like there was a limit to when you were gonna you, you were gonna have to stop your career there were not that many roles for women over 40 frankly um, for women of color it was like a desert I remember in 2000 I had a dinner with Gabrielle Union and she really like laid it out for me about how hard it was for actresses of color and it opened my eyes like it was just something that I've thought about ever since and and hope to see some change being made and I really do feel like it's happening but there's still so far to go. I was looking at how there's not a lot of good language around it and I'm not trying to reinvent anything it's just it was to me, it felt like I and I realized a couple years ago when the Grammys came out, there was like this meme that was going around that said there were, I think like 5% producers were women and 2% were engineers. And I remember that really messed me up. Like I remember hearing that and reading that and being like, okay, how do I actually change that? Like I don't just want to think about changing it. Like, And so I realized that when you're an artist and like you have a record label, like they'll give you a list of 25 men who, and they'll be like, these guys want to write a song with you. And I was like, cool, cool, only women. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they give you another list that they had to really think about and put together. But like, I had to be the one to really say that. Like, I realized, like, so the artists really have to be, for musicians, I'm sure it's different in every industry. But I feel like with music, like, you just really have to stick your neck out a little bit. And then it was the best experience I ever had. Yes, I bet you got it. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's well, never in history has a draft document from the Supreme Court ever been released. So much like the pandemic, if anyone told you they saw it coming, then they hold the key to the world. But I think that there are so many layers of this conversation that we must have, which is why it's critical for women to be on panels, to women, for women to be in office, for women to host shows, for women to executive produce shows for women to lead networks so that our opinions, and they are diverse, we are not 
all the same and we don't all believe the same, by the way, but I think it's important that we're all heard and we're not heard through the voices of men on important conversations like this.